What's up, New Hope family? Pastor Luke here, coming at you with a devotion for this Thursday. And I was just thinking in my head, you know, oftentimes in church culture, and we like to paint this picture that, you know, Jesus is this force of good, Satan is this force of evil, and they're battling against each other. They're in this kind of boxing match, if you will. And we, we tend to just subconsciously think that Satan is the opposite of Jesus and all that implies with that. That's not the case, actually, because if Satan was truly the opposite of Jesus, then he would be equal to Jesus, opposites yet equals. And I know from Scripture, I know that my God, that Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and my God, the Father, there is no equal. They are unrivaled. They are unmatched. There is no one like them, no one all-powerful, uh, all seeing, all, all conscious, all whatever it may be. And so Satan is not the equal to or even the opposite of Jesus. He is not equal. He has to bow down before Jesus. And so sometimes in our life, we think of that scripture of Satan prowls around like a roaring lion. Well, there's only one lion. It's That scripture specifically says Satan is like a lion. He's got a big bark. He's got a big roar, but he doesn't have the power that the Lion of Judah does. Uh, and so we get to trust Jesus, who is our Lion of Judah, today. It also made me think more and more about sin in our lives, is that Jesus calls us to be holy. He calls us to himself, and we don't have to sin. We don't have to sin. Now, we struggle with it. We choose to do it, and we can't be perfect because God is perfect and and we need Jesus but Satan doesn't make us sin he doesn't have that much power he doesn't make us sin he doesn't have that ability to make us do anything we choose to do it but Satan may not have power in our lives but we know he has presence he's around he's filling our head with lies and this and that but the only time that Satan has power in our lives isn't because he's present, but he gets power from our permission of him in our lives. So when we say yes to sin, when we say yes to responding in that way or that way or focusing on that lie, we give Satan power because we've given him permission. And that's the only way he has power in our life. So today be reminded that you don't have to sin. If you would cut out the opportunity, cut out giving Satan permission to have power in your life. He doesn't and he can't have power. And that's where the Holy Spirit reigns in to pull us away, to give us the power to say no, to give us the way out of sin. So if you're struggling with something today, be thinking, man, how have I given Satan permission to have power in my life in that area? We love you, New Hope. Let's walk in victory today.